Recently, there's been one of the biggest Pokemon thefts I've pretty much ever seen. And not only did the people steal stuff, they did property damage. Like full-fledged Armageddon. And it's just really unfortunate. And basically, to catch you guys up to speed, and also thanks to Alex Hodges for bringing this to my attention as well, because without him, I probably would have never even found this out. So basically, a place called Central Coast Collectibles just got ransacked the other day. And the people who ransacked the place stole thousands of thousands of dollars, even tens of thousands, honestly. There isn't really a set number. It's kind of like speculative. Now, it appears they didn't steal everything. As you guys can see, there's some product on the back shelves, at least. But it just doesn't process in my brain, really. I mean, those are probably the easiest to get. So I don't know why they decided to go into the shelves and break them. Like, it's probably the most goofy uh, brain move I've ever seen. I, I, they must be teenagers. They have to be teenagers. Because there's no way an actual robber would even think about doing this. Like, just imagine you're walking into a store. And you see tens of thousands of dollars worth of product on the shelves. And you decide to smash the glass display. What in the... Dude, how dumb are these robbers? How? That doesn't even freaking make sense, man. It, it, you can't get much dumber than this, really. You really can't get much dumber than this. It's just really unfortunate because these display cases are very expensive. They probably cost thousands of thousands of dollars just to even put up there. There's one thing when you're stealing stuff. And there's another just ruining the shop itself like how that that's something that even robbers wouldn't stoop that low these guys are full they're, they're evil they're actually evil human beings for doing this like they gain nothing out of it it's not like they had to get into these display cases in order to get the good stuff there's plenty of stuff on the shelves like i it, it, i'm I'm shocked. And not only that, what pisses me off about this situation, and I'll, I'm going to get into this a little bit later as well, is the fact that the security cameras are one megapixel. You can't see any. They're not even wearing masks. They're not wearing masks. And the camera can't pick up their freaking faces. Dude, that is so freaking annoying because I've seen this on so many other places. You'll be surprised how many LGSs get ransacked and get robbed. Like this... The, honestly, I feel like Pokemon card game stores are, are getting robbed more than diamond and jewelry shops. And that's a fact. Alex Hodges bring this up. And he said three shops that he personally knew were robbed in the last couple of weeks or month. So... I, it's honestly very surprising to me that these places don't have better security systems. Like, it's one megapixel, man. I can't even see the guy's freaking, what he's freaking wearing. Is he wearing freaking Louis Vuitton or something? It's so dumb, man. All places have the same exact thing. Everyone has the same exact camera system, apparently, because you can't see shit. And obviously, man, I am. Freaking very sorry for Central Coast Collectible. This isn't a laughing matter like I'm making this out to be. This is absolutely devastating. The tens of thousands of dollars worth of product. This is their livelihood. This is their life. And for this to be stripped away for them is freaking disgusting, man. These people are absolutely horrible. Not only did they steal stuff, but they did substantial property damage as well. So by no means is this the actual game store's problem. This is not their fault. They didn't cause this. It's just people being absolutely scummy. No, this is not even scummy. This is pure evil. So this is, has nothing to do with them. But if you do want my opinion, I hate to be the guy who says this. I really do no one's gonna want to hear this when they're going through such a big traumatic experience like this but uh i i really gotta give you some advice here please 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 get some better security cameras the pokemon hobby has been targeted so many freaking times of thieves especially after the 2020 2021 pandemic everyone is going i swear they're more popular than jewelry shops as i said earlier but please invest in some better security cameras they are expensive but when you're at the point of thousands of thousands if not hundreds of thousand dollars worth of product in your store please i you at least gotta do some sort of freaking laser security system where it sets off in a big alarm to, and it automatically calls the police here you this is the equivalent of a jewelry shop just because it's cards doesn't mean everyone's like oh you know what? It's cards. It can, it's valueless, right? No. People obviously know now that cards are just as valuable as gold, silver, platinum, uh, even freaking Bitcoin, I'll be honest. And my suggestion is instead of buying other Pokemon products, you invest that money 
into buying better security systems to prevent this from happening. And this isn't even targeted at Central Coast collectibles either. This is for all the LGSs that have been going through some very serious stuff lately. So if you guys do find anything suspicious, make sure you guys contact the store immediately. Uh, and when I say something suspicious, I mean wanting to meet you in the alleyway of a McDonald's on Facebook Marketplace. And they have freaking hundreds of hundreds of boxes for msrp or below yeah i kind of find that suspicious especially if it's in california as well and yeah man it's just really unfortunate really really sorry for the guys who went through this uh, it's it's getting really sad to see this anyway hope you guys have an amazing day and uh yeah i'll see you later weebs <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,